my mic wasn't on that entire time. So I've been having an entire conversation with myself. So, yeah, that was good. <laughs> uh, hi, Kyan. Hi again, Jake. I did say, how are you? But my microphone was switched off. So, oopsie daisy. just putting a light layer of this light blue and it's going to help when I come over with the various other colours because he actually has a bit of green to him but the reference picture isn't the clearest and it's actually very small um, so there's going to be a lot of artistic license because the whole of his right side or me looking at it is left side um, it's pretty much black so I'm gonna have to yeah have a bit of artistic license here okay so um, yeah I explained that at the beginning to myself because I was having a conversation with myself because I've got so much going on um, how I've done it this time round is I normally if I didn't have the iPad I would do a trace down technique um, if you don't know what that is, it's worth googling the technique. I have got a video somewhere, two or three videos um, on my channel about trace down. But essentially you get, um, I don't think I've got one here. but So this is the line work I printed out today. So imagine that's your reference photo. You could print that off, cover the back completely with graphite pencil then place it over your work where you want it and then just trace your main lines and then that way you're left with a nice clean precise reference trace for you to then be able to add and render with your colour. Because I've got the iPad I actually went in and because the quality I couldn't have printed the quality and got the same line detail so I needed to do it on the iPad. I traced it out on the iPad, just did some sketch lines, printed this off, and I've used a light board uh, to then get the lines onto my artwork. And if anybody wants to argue with you that it's cheating, then they're just a snob because masters have been doing it for thousands of years. But that's not an argument I'm going to get into now. Um, but it's been going on for years. So that's how I got my line work done for this. But generally, before the pad, I would have done it via the trace down technique. Hi, Joe. Right. I am actually going to go straight in with the dark indigo because he is so dark on the ear there. But you can still see a bit of shape. So in here is the darkest. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sketch... this section here so I keep a light I don't know how well you can see that through the camera yeah so there's sort of like a lightness between these two sections if that's too dark let me know hi Erica similar to the carbon method yeah I'm not particularly a fan of carbon because I actually find it harder to erase but yeah, it is very similar. It's just I use, um, I have these, which are woodless graphite pencils. And then all you need to do is drop the pencil, because that's really handy. So I'm now gonna disappear behind my desk. And I didn't break the lead a bit of plain paper why is it i live in an office practically and i can never find just a basic bit of paper <clears throat> oh a piece of paper let's get a bit of note paper how do you get the shapes all my animal drawings outlines look nothing like the animal Okay, well that is down to practicing what you need to capture in your reference. Um, 
So, firstly with the trace down method, just get a good amount of graphite on the opposite side. So your photo would be on this side and you're gonna color it on that side. Then you can just simply, I fold it over, just trace your details over the top and then it will, it, yours will be a bit better than this, but it will then translate over to the other piece of paper. So if I show you the reference I am using, so it's gonna be it's in that box, which I thought I had. So this is the reference I'm using and you can quite clearly see that practically his entire side is black. So as I say, I'm gonna to have to use artistic license here and my knowledge of doing animals previously. So I've lightened it in, uh, well, there's the line work just to show you. Let me, I've lightened it in Photoshop or you can lighten it in any sort of photo editing software. And you can see that my line work then matches my reference. So you can see here that this nice big chunky line here is this line above his head. So it's picking out those details that you need to get. I tell you what, me and Bixby are going to have a falling out. So I think probably for you, it would be a case of finding a bunch of different animals and practicing what parts of the animals you do and don't need to trace. The more you do this, the less you need to trace. So all I've done really here is get the placement of the eyes, the placement of the nose and the placement of the major shadows. And of course, the shape of the ear. Hi, Neve. Neve, is that right? Um, so yeah, just practice getting the basic shapes down because actually you'll be surprised how realistic you can get something looking from a basic shape. So I'm going to go straight in. I've gone in with the Helium Light Ultramarine. I'm now going to go in with my dark indigo. I just want to make a note of all these because I like to keep a reference. So yeah, I'm just lining it with my dark indigo. And you should be looking at your reference more than you're looking at your artwork. I have cheese on bagel for my tea. Mm -hmm. Emmental cheese. It's got to be Emmental. And you'll notice how lightly I am working in my layers as well. I'm not going straight in and working really heavy. Even though it's relatively solid in its colour, I'm not going to work solid. So I'm still going to just build up. And working on these light layers this way means that you can get much more depth to your black. Never just use straight black, it's awful. In fact, you can make black without using black. If you just use browns and these dark indigos, you can actually make black quite well. Again, there's a video in my playlist somewhere on how to make black without black. Cubby's trying to tap really, really quietly. Are you going on a raid? You're going on a guild raid? Yeah, they just put it out there. It doesn't matter about item levels anymore. Woof, woof, I can actually get into these stuff. I haven't had time to fart, let alone do anything else. I think I've been on a guild raid once, and how long have I been in that guild? Sorry, wow talk. Oh, nice. What are you doing on the old art homework? I'm now going in with layer three you'll see that it will gently lay it up. This is why coloured pencil drawings should be taking you hours and not, you know, you, you shouldn't be able to finish something this size in an afternoon. You should be looking at well over 10 hours for this type of thing. What I'm then going to do is go over with the Payne's Grey. You'll notice I'm working on his ear first because 
I'm right-handed I will work from this side of the canvas across and then down if you're left-handed you would work from this side of the canvas across and then down and then that way you keep your paper nice and clean champagne grey so this is layer four I'm just trying to keep an eye on my layers because I want to be interested I never really count them Please feel free to answer questions, answer questions, ask questions. There is a vlog coming out on Friday, which is going to explain a few things for everybody that normally watches me and where I sort of disappear to. Um, so make sure you catch that. It is released 12.30pm UK time. Eyes and portrait. I did a side portrait that turned out okay. Then I went to the front and... <laughs> yeah, they're all tricky to do. Okay, so that's the layer of plain grey. And then we're going to go in with the dark indigo again. All this layering is what helps build up depth. You'll notice I haven't done a single first stroke yet. On both arms, yeah, I got, um, it's not finished. We're going to be adding some more colour, but she outlined my frog. So he's fresh looking. Um, so yeah, she's outlined my frog, so he's all fresh looking. But this is Gemini, which is Amelie's star sign. It's still healing, so it's a bit crappy looking. Um, this is Aries, which is Madison's and Coffee Man's star sign. And then, hi Evie. And then this one is Aquarius, which is my star sign. So I thought the Aquarius one would go with my logo but we also added another leaf here which is going to have some colour added at some point but I don't know if any of you guys remember but this tattoo was representative of me being the frog mummy frog Madison Amelie husband and then we've added another one for all my fur babies and it's healing really really nicely When I got my owl one done, I stupidly um, did something very silly and ended up giving myself an infection. Um, but it healed really well after that, but it was really painful. But I love the watercolour effect. So this watercolour effect will be added into these. Um, and I'm going to have some watercolour effect around the frog as well. Oh cool, what sort of dance did you do today? It's getting really windy out there. Either that or uh, Coffee Man's PC is right. That means I'm not going to get my coffee at half past eight. I'm disgusted. It's not on guys, it's not on. I need a coffee machine in here. Shh, I oh, know you said it before. Oh, bless you. Thank you. It's doing my head in at the moment, the way it's behaving. I'm going to be posting in a few days because I did one of those take a screenshot now and take a screenshot in a week and see how much your account has grown. Mine has gone down, not up. So, you know, street dance. Then tomorrow I have musical theatre. That sounds really fun. Okay, so we've got a really nice base happening here. So now I am... How do 
Do I want to go tan grey again? I am going to go tan grey again, actually. And then I will go black. Uh, yeah. What's up? John? What? You just shouted. Did I? <laughs> I didn't even know he shouted. <laughs> <laughs> you're not on you're on press to talk yes yeah yeah <laughs> what's I going John 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 turn your pet off I'm going where's my pet I can't find it Hang you on. should know better than to turn your pet off as soon as you get into a raid no they're trying to do an achievement but because everyone is um 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 scared they're only like two they're dead and they're trying to do an achievement so you've got to cancel dps oh i see so you've got to stop your pet from attacking well can't you just put him on assist doesn't he stop when you stop no well no. or just not use him did you hear that you heard that right <laughs> he was on here did i you totally did Okay, so can you see the texture of the paper is naturally giving him texture on his ear anyway? Tell everyone I say hi. Or not. He's got a big red screen. He's got his headphones on now. I'll still end up building up on top of this so as I work through I'll come and darken the ear I'm trying to work on tomorrow tomorrow's I think it's tomorrow's prompt or is it today oh crap now I'm worried if you follow me on TikTok which I know a few of you do that are watching um I've been doing the prompts from an Instagram account called Ghoul Kiss. Um, oh, please don't say it's today because I'm well behind. But it is today. Oh no, I've done today's. I need to post that. I'm going to post it too late. Do you want a sneaky peek? Because I've done that one, but I don't know what to do. I'm going to possibly come and do it on a live on TikTok because I don't know what to do for the background for the next one I'm doing I'm working in ovals by the way it might look like I'm going backwards and forwards but I'm not I'm working in ovals it's worth practicing even if you're just sat in front of the TV put a pen or pencil in your hand and just practice working in ovals until you get them so close and closed that you end up with no white space in between your pencil lines. Hi Rob! Oh look at you with your new snazzy name! It is a black lab, here's the reference. So you can see that quite a lot of him is very very dark so I'm using artistic license and my knowledge of doing Labradors in the past to get it done um, okay so procreate we're getting a sneaky peek guys I hope you know this okay so you all saw this was um, gummy brain I think it was gummy brain and then are you ready for this because I'm really happy with it it's based on an old Photoshop image that I did years ago. Turn that off. There she is. How cool is that? Are you still doing? I am. Um, there's been, as I say, if you do watch my YouTube channel regularly, 
there's a vlog coming out on Friday which will explain what's happening at the moment um, there's been a lot of things happening in the background that has meant that my time has been extremely limited um, one because of my health and two because of things just going on in the background so yeah it, it's it will be happening but I've got to catch up with myself um, so yeah it was based on an old image I did in 2008 on Photoshop when I used to do um, photo manipulation before doing it on pads was even a thing um, so I decided to redo it for this prompt and then this is what I'm working on for the next prompt but I'm not happy with the background so this isn't how it's going to work out so I'll probably come and do it on a live just to get a bit of feedback but so far that's what I've got for the next prompt and I really love it and I really want to do more animals like this so I might put a little video out on TikTok to ask for some ideas for other animals it started off as a fox and then ended up looking like a cat so that didn't last very fox like for very long Thank you Rob yeah I will be um, I just need to catch up with things first um, I've got them hung up here ready to do I have them all here still to do um, so yeah they, they will be I can't even remember what one it was it was something light wasn't it Shelley's light so it's that one Look, I'll put it out and I'll make sure I do it tomorrow because I do miss doing them I'm just going straight in with the Payne's Grey because I want to show a colour difference between the light area and the dark area. Can you say hi to everybody please? I threw a wet baby wipe, I hope it's getting in the face but it completely missed. He's cute, isn't he? I like the way he works out. Okay, so I've just shaded that in so I know that already that this is the light. And in fact, you can see it already. You know that that's going to be darker than this section here. And just from doing that little bit of work, we've already got the shape of the way that the ear curls. Um, so up here is the lighter section. And I'm actually going to go straight in with a... I'll be using cold greys on this. I'm going to go cold grey 2 to begin with. No, I'm not doing the nose. Who? No, I'm not. Oh, hi George. So I'm just going to fill the space with cold grey 2 now. And then we're going to come up. He's got a lovely little bit of floof at the top of his ear. So we can add that in. Let's keep working on the back section of the ear. Yeah, I miss doing them because they're so cute and simple. Yeah, um, my life's sort of been <laughs> been a bit all over the place lately. I got some mail today, which completely put me in tears. So um, yeah, that was unexpected. I don't know whether I, I don't think I ever did. My auntie, who I used to spend an awful lot of time with, was 98, and when she passed away, um, well, you know what it's like, it's sort of that, that type thing, and then out of the blue today, I get a envelope from I didn't know who at the time, and in, in said envelope 
I do. He's totally tur being turned into oops stickers. He really, really is. Where's it with me dropping stuff under my desk? And it's not one I want to drop either. Goodness sake. Anyway, my my auntie was poodle mad. She had two poodles. I remember both of them very well. So I open this box of this bag and then I get this letter. Um, have at last got round to sending you this. Have had it packed up for months. Thought you might like to have it as a memento of Auntie Grace. Love, Auntie Elaine. So that was the letter that I had for him. So I ended up blubbing, like to do. And this was a little picture she had of me and my sisters. Can I hold on? No, no, it's not out of focus. And there's my little brother. So that's me. That's my big sister who lives in Scotland now. That's Nandy, my little sister, and that's William, my little brother. And she's had this frame for I don't know how long. So they sent that through for me. Lovely little frame. And then I got these through and I completely and utterly just broke down into tears in the office. And I got these two little brooches hers so that was really really nice so yeah that was a tear jerking afternoon but it was a lovely little surprise so now I have something that I can also that's been passed down from auntie to me and I can pass it down to my girls oh Okay, I don't know if you lost me a bit there, but it come up as um, OBS lost connection. Hopefully everything's all right. I'll just keep going. You'll soon let me know. do now is I'm going to start adding in a bit of further detail towards the light section or what would have been the light section work on the eye next I think and I'll swap over to the other photo that's a bit brighter got some sticky out stray hairs happening here too straight there I think now I can zoom into that reference I think it's got a bit more shape up here yeah but it's full of joy too They are mainly polychromos I'm using. I've got the odd luminance, but I think for this one, I'm going to be using the majority of them are polychromos. And in all honesty, if you can afford to start saving up or to get them, put them on your Christmas list, whatever, they are worth every single penny. I see so many people use Prismas and then I see so many complaints against Prisma. Um, but I personally am too heavy handed to use them. I much prefer the firmness that you get with these pencils. Yeah, 
going to start getting in a little bit more where the shape of the shadow is underneath. don't want to touch this section that I'm working on now at all with the black if I do any more it'd be in here and to be honest I think I might go in with the dark indigo again going to start burnishing now on the back of the ear and by that if you're not familiar with the term I'm pushing harder on my pencil now to help blend all those layers that I've done together and I'm keeping them in a similar direction so I don't have to add any further detail in but if I get any pencil strokes showing it actually adds to the final detail. was part of a zip. How do you mistake a zip with a mouse? I had to get a new hamster ball for Pebbles the other day and it's massive and she loves it. She chewed her way out of the smaller one We, we were both sat in the sitting room because normally you can just hear her chewing we just both look at each other and we're like it's gone really quiet why is it gone really quiet <laughs> and I was like I bet she's chewed her way out and she was in the kitchen because she likes to roam around the kitchen and uh, hubby walks in and she's running around the kitchen floor bearing in mind we have two cats one's afraid of her but you know still see as I burnish that you'll get rid of a lot of the texture now and it will give you a much smoother colour. See how that already looks black but it's not black. In fact you're going to have a bit of um, the light from the above camera on there, the above light as well. So I'm going to start using the dark grey. It's the cold grey five or six I think it is I've got with me. So I've only used black once on this ear and I will only use it once again and that is to get the absolute darkest areas. So I'm going to go in here which is a natural fold of the ear. few little short strokes of fur to indicate direction. God, you can tell it's been ages since I've done something like this. The old arm ache is setting in. So if I 
move out of the light look how dark that looks so it looks a very natural color question please the picture is drawn on wood do you think it is best to pyro it first then add color after yes because i imagine you'll end up melting the wax not that i don't think it's a bad thing have an experiment but yeah you'll end up melting the wax so i don't quite know how that would react i still have a pyro kit here that i still haven't had a play at i've got the wood here waiting ready to do it on i still haven't got round to it should we find coffee man for every minute that he's late for coffee now because he's off having uh playtime with his friends in a dungeon i say he's wrong and he can't hear me <laughs> yeah we'll have to have an experiment one night i'll tell you what why don't we do that next week rob should we experiment did i put that in for next week because i keep saying i'm going to do it and i never do right i'm writing it down you you can hold me to this guys okay so the next live is um no i'll just say pyro and we'll have an experiment but it's more difficult i imagine if it's really thick paper you could don't introduce the rate try drawing an eye don't hp it's not be oh it's school just work really light you'll be able to build up right we're going to do that then we're going to do that next week if nothing else happened but the kids are on half term so be warned right now um i'm going to go in with my cold gray five it's five or six i don't remember and i'm just going to work over this section animal should we do i'm really tempted to do an owl or a tiger i've got quite a big bit of board so knowing me i'm going to be stupidly over ambitious Trying not to go as dark as the reference because you see we want to keep a nice bit of natural shading happening. Tie your lines. Oh, he's died. Time for coffee. Yeah, there's time to do the skin here again. You're supposed to die, are you? That's your excuse and you're sticking to it, huh? Nothing wrong with a smelly Joe. We bought this coffee because I rarely go to Asda anymore and um, I go to Aldi and they don't do my favourite coffee. So we sacrificed for this thing called Law, L-O-R. You've probably seen it advertised. Oh my God, it stinks. Oh, I've got plenty, plenty, plenty of wood. What I'll do is I'll get hubby to grab me some down because we've still got loads left over from the office build. They're not big flat bits of wood, but they're enough that I can have a play and an experiment at least. I'll go 
go with a tiger, I think. I, I think I would be stupidly ambitious to go for a lion with that mane. Bye, me. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. Joe says she's not smelly. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. At least I made you giggle. Well, Coffee Man did anyway. Aromatic, Joe. Aromatic. Aromatic. <laughs> Stinky, that's what it is. Could you have found the noisiest cracker in the cupboard? Are you really dry? I don't think I've got butter on it. They're all crisp. Dry. There we go. Right, I'm going to tilt it so you can see that nice light patch that's happening there. Take care, I'll see you soon. What I am going to do is rub my cold grey one and I'm just going to now blend. Can you hear that? That's going to be so funny if you can hear it. I think a tiger is ambitious. Oh no, mister. No, no, no. <laughs> Are you doing that on purpose? No. <laughs> Don't laugh, you'll choke. Because... I'm just doing a few lighter strokes of fur with the cold grey one or two. I think it's one, yeah. Oh my god, he's extra noisy today, isn't he? Should we do this eye? Should we work on something a bit different? <clears throat> I need to move to the lighter photo because that's got a lot more detail in the eye. So I'm just going to sketch the detail in. anyone here am eating that cracker I'm going to ask you and then you'll be answering me because it's such a stupidly long delay What a beautiful day it's been today. Nice and wet and rainy. Do you know what? I don't know if the comments are taking absolutely ages to come through. What's going on? It's really quite annoying. You 
can see a lot more detail in this eye so I want to try and get a bit more detail in this one so they, they match a bit more I remember where I put the kit now. I think it's in the box down by my feet. I've got a box of things that I want to do. I'm pretty sure it's in there. go quiet it's a shame I can't put some sort of Zen music on in the background without being unmonetized work around the eye you're seeing there you go that's it actually if is that all right with the light off is it even off no it's off no now it's on for goodness sake so if you're happy with the light off it might be a bit easier to see i don't know munching on her nibble thingies i should imagine being quiet in a corner, filling a face. So let's go back to the non-light version. And I'm now going to go in with the cold grey. down why is she not happy just move that up does she Madison had to be tested last week. That was fun, not.
need to get the microphone right next to this pencil so we can all have a bit of ASMR. Depending on how tomorrow goes, I might try and get some of this done on a live feed on TikTok as well. I should add that her test came back negative, sorry. I'm just leaving you hanging there. When I'm colouring here, I'm doing it on purpose and just doing short, straight strokes because it's helping towards fur detail but I will blend it and burnish it in between those layers so it's not this sort of very straight and neat looking type of fur. We need to have a bit of variation and direction. a bit darker on this highlight and then I'll come down to point three three to nose it out. Right, I cannot see at all what's going on on this cheek, which is why I had to lighten it up. So from what I can see, I'm going to do this with the paint gray. So this is dark. I'm just going to shade it in quickly so I know what I'm doing. is mid and then this is light. You're going to have to bear with me for a minute, not that we're all very noisy at the moment, are we? Come down, and just to blend around, so this isn't actually the bottom of his eye. It is, but it's he's then got like a, a fleshy, what's the point of turning the volume down on your iPad if you're just going to come in from the in? Chin chin. 
I was very impressed, very impressed with all your videos actually. I think they're very well edited as well. Quite satisfying. Yeah, I think you did a great job on that. Have you ever thought about um turning your drawings into decals and then you'll be able to decal over the wood once you've done it so it is still one of your drawings it's just a decal version of it down further there Get over in that direction it's amazing how much you end up cutting out of edits isn't it It's like, um, I guess almost like a temporary tattoo. It's the same type of method. Um, so you print, you can get printable decal paper. I do have some here. Um, so you print off your design on this very thin sheet of clear, I don't even know technically what type of paper it is, but it's clear. You print your image on it, cut it out, you soak it with water and you'd apply it like you would a, a temporary tattoo um, and then you just seal it with varnish um, and then that way you get your image which means you can put any of your drawings onto any of your woodwork which would be really really cool and make it extra 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 unique not saying that your pencils didn't look lovely because they really really did I was really impressed but if you wanted something that maybe saved time then um, looking into decals may help Yeah, they're really good. So if anybody has a favourite picture of a tiger or one that they've seen that they would particularly like to see me fail at <laughs> when we do the old pyro, um, let me know in the group and uh, I'll go find it if you can't use the one that you've loaded up and then uh yeah we'll give that a go on wednesday next week i really don't want to use i think we're gonna have to use that as the base frame in there Well, it's not bad, is it? And in uh, quite a small space too, which can be tricky. And it's not flat canvas either, is it? Oh, 
Oh yeah, please do. more 3D now isn't he? It's such a beautiful face. I think Labradors have got such a demeanour about them. <laughs> yeah, I just think it did. I'm not, I'm not liking it, even though it's in the reference. This is where I find it really hard because, you know, I don't want to deviate from the reference too much, but it's just, I don't know, something about this particular section. So I think I am going to have to put my artist overruling head on. bit better actually. I'll just cool the tone down a bit and it will stick a bit better, yeah. Yeah, I'm quite looking forward to the challenge actually. It'd be nice to do something really really different something i haven't had a go at i'm gonna have to watch some youtube videos i think just to get myself familiar with what all the different nibs do and things like that i think i've got a variety in the kit that was lent to me blending all this that I did down the side together with the cold grey. I think I can start to work in this section a bit darker. But it's not quite as wide on that side of the face as it is at the moment. I get all this in as well this will slim down this side of the face once we get all the darkness in I love doing black dogs it's been so so long since I've done a black dog in colored pencil I've always ended up doing them in graphite so it's a real welcome change
few upgrade stages happening in there now. Let me whether or not I'm going to be happy with how it is. I think I am. Once I get all the colour in there. Yeah, I definitely think tiger. I'm quite happy to go with a tiger, I think. Oh, the quill in the cover. The quilt's gone down to the bottom of the quilt cover. I don't know how she does it, but she does it every time. I think that needs to come out so I'm not going to erase I'm going to lighten using one of the greys yeah that's better how long have you going one hour twelve I think I'll go to one hour and a half and then call it a night. It's pretty quiet this evening. Actually, it's been a while since I've done. Had I done the live since this new background? Has anybody noticed that yet? I don't remember. I didn't think I had, but I quite possibly have. been watching this program on Netflix about um, the, the barbecue something or other um, and I guess it's like a version of the British Bake Off but only with barbecuing in America don't ever watch it late at night because you end up salivating Hi Donna, oh bless you. Donna is Jet's fur mummy. Why am I getting notification noise? He's gonna look beautiful when he's done. definitely going to get it before December let's put it that way yeah my daughter has this thing where she when she lifts the quilt up to cover herself she just grabs the sheet part of it the cover part of it she never actually grabs the quilt itself so by the end of day two half the quilts halfway down the quilt cover and then she moans about being cold in bed and wonders why. <laughs> but 
what I'm going to do is at the minute this area is a little bit too warm although I'm using cold cold greys and um, indigos I am now going to come in with the light geranium light geranium light ultramarine so what this does is it adds that blue tint to the colour just takes a little bit of that warmness away I didn't do it first on here because it wasn't as solid as the ear so I'd rather put it on last as a glaze rather than a foundation wonder what that noise was. Daddy's got wine. <laughs> oh dear. The kid's gone to bed. He's on his game. He's got a bottle of wine. He is happy. You still try and do this achievement? And now he can't hear me. Because I don't want it to ed end sort of light then dark immediately. I want to just bring in a little bit of shading here. So I'm just using at the moment the Payne's Grey. Just to give it more of a roundness. There you go, you can see it's rounded it off a little bit more now. I think it's so nice when the fur mamas can come and, or fur papas, or fur family can come and watch their babies being recreated. It's such a nice thing to be able to offer. see how much neater that eye is sitting now and it's disconnected hopefully I'm back again but you can see how much nicer this eye section here because I've managed to sort this bit out here it's made this bit make more sense beautiful little eyes I'm just going to soften the highlight here I know because it's where the source of light is hitting it's so much brighter and we want to even it out so you know if you ever get a reference like that don't be afraid to just try and even out the shadows and the highlights it's not a problem if you do just obviously check with your client first because they might want it exactly how it is in the photo but it doesn't hurt to check I think it's still raining out there but I can't tell between this computer and the rain. I don't hear it hitting the office but it sounds rainy. You'll notice I'm drinking coffee over here. Everyone 
everyone says that, Rob, but I honestly don't think it. Do you think I am? I guess a lot of it really is down to, um, I don't know. I, I think I've got the muscle memory down to a T when it comes to drawing. I do think all the years of doing Photoshop and all that sort of stuff beforehand has helped me with regards to ensuring things like shadows and stuff are all correct. But you know what I think a lot of the problem is? Is if you count how many fur strokes I have actually physically done, I've done less than 5% in this entire portrait, yet look how much texture he has on his fur. I know you are, you don't know it. just finding out little techniques that work for you and then it just speeds the process up because again I'm working in solid base colours rather than sitting there doing individual fur strokes if this was Sharpay or Jack Russell or something it'd be a whole different kettle of fish but he simply doesn't need I think the thing about every time I've done a lab there's just so little in the way of actual fur strokes that you need to get down. You can just get a little rhythm going, like I'm doing now, which is little backwards and forwards, but moving it slightly so they're not quite straight as soldiers. I'll take that. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're having a natural break. We all have a natural break. I have to say it's been a well needed break to and once again Bixby's here. Go away, Bixby. Um to step away from the pencils for a bit and I've been enjoying the digital art so much. Um, but this is an absolute joy to get back to the pencils, I have to say. I didn't realise quite how much I missed it. And I do have the watch commission coming at some point. I don't know when. But he's going to send me, once he's taken the, the absolute perfect picture he wants, um, then we'll crack on with that one. But I started, um, let's just show you very quickly. I can't remember if I showed you or when the last update was you had because I was practicing realism on the pad wasn't I so this is how far I've got so far with the owl so that's how far I've got with the owl so far and I've been absolutely loving it so I want to try and get some more done on that at some point I mean, if you guys are ever interested in watching a digital live feed, then I'm more than happy to do one. But I know you guys generally follow me for the more traditional type of art. But, you know, if you're quite happy to sit with me on a live feed and do something like that, I'm more than happy to. But Yeah, they're fun to do. I'm going to start bringing the grey over now start working a bit more on the top of his head because what I have a tendency to do is this and then I'll come over and then I'll go and I haven't done the top of his head hi Emily thank you Rob I don't know would you guys be interested in seeing anything like that there will be some digital art videos going up at some point anyway um, I want to do a voiceover to the Tommy Shelby one I did. OK, 
okay that's cool i'll book something in for that as well then so we've got the pyro one and then we're going to do a procreate one and we'll do something realistic so we can either do an animal or we can maybe redo one of my lips it's been a long time since i've done anything like that Cool beans, right, okay, I'll add that. Depending on when I work on this, I may actually do some live feeds in the Facebook group where I carry on with this, rather than them being on YouTube. But I wanna be in, try and be a bit more flexible about when and where because yeah it's it's been so sporadic my time at the moment um that i'm just fitting in everything when i can i mean i've literally been into doing tiktok live feeds on the sofa at like nine o'clock at night Ooh, nice what one are you getting I did a little happy dance today because I found out um, I signed up in advance to get Illustrator on the pad because it's what I use for my graphic design on my Mac um, and it's finally been released um, so I need to sit and have a play with that which means I'm going to be even more productive because it means I can get my cutting templates sorted out so that's going to be cool Hiya, been on a call for a while and I had to leave you playing in the background. Oh, bless you. We all know that life just gets in the way. It's not a problem at all. Right, that is the middle. That's the middle. So this is where it stays light. I'm going to mark where he then turns darker, which is just here. like to map things out like this before I go too far so we've got a dark patch here and it's all very light here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of that reference and go back to the original reference Notches of hair. It's a little bit more higher this side than it is that side. So we want to get some of that just filled in a little bit of height. How are we doing for time? We have one more minute. I'm pretty pleased with what I've managed to get done in the time. I haven't been easily distracted, which is always good. lot to do I think we're looking at 10 hours because you know me I always end up going back and floofing afterwards and just sorting areas out that I think need adjusting but that is where we are so far his little handsome face is really coming to to life right 
there you go I'm going to leave him there at the moment my chips actually you know what do you know what? I'm going to hang on for a bit because poor old Emily always misses the live feeds hubby is still happily sitting raiding so should we go for another however long let's just keep going What? Nothing. I've said loads of things, but you've completely ignored me. No, I was like mumblings. Mumblings. Yeah. Well, that's normally all you hear. Yeah. I think a husband's version of listening to his wife is. If does any of you does any? Do any of you remember peanuts? It just reminds me of like when the teachers talk in peanuts to the students, and it's like that what 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 whatever it is. Um, yeah, I just think that's all, all partners here. I'm not saying it's just me, because it's not. You're going to put your feet up, Emily, and you're just going to relax. And you're just going to keep going for a little bit longer. I get a bit more done as well while the kiddies are in bed. Oh, I need to show you. I really do need to show you because it's come out superbly. My Fibro Sucks stickers arrived yesterday and they're holographic. delicious I'm going to turn the light on so you can see all my detail there it is how cool is that love it yeah they arrived the other day so I was really really excited I've done one for PCOS now um, and I need to do one for CRPS one of these ones for things like clones and bits and bobs just to you know make sure everybody's included or as many people as I can so I need to think of or get a list together Cool, isn't it? They're so funky. I need the camera slightly because I don't know why, but we need to be a bit lighting doesn't seem to be as clear as it was. Are we in? Yeah, we are in. It's just that the light's reflecting on it. It's really annoying. purposely pushing the pencil in a bit harder so I can get the pencil lines again this means I don't have to sit there and individually do each of the doggies hairs because I just you know every artist works differently and this is the way that I prefer to work and I'm happy with the results that I get from working in that way I know that I would probably be frowned upon for not putting actual fur strokes in but at the end of the day if the outcome is looking like the photo then I am a happy bunny moved from the top of his head haven't I I told you I do this I always end up moving around <laughs> I'm 
you are a hologram, Rob. You're not really here. Need to get the shape of his head so this dark patch needs to come out to about here it's a bit higher this side and then it's quite smooth on this side so that little bump don't you on the, the top of the head So I am literally just working through my Payne's grey, my dark indigo and a bit of the black and then depending on if it's a highlighted area I'll come in with the darkest of my cold greys. So the shape I've got to achieve looks dark up here. say about me it's not all there <laughs> he's not all there in the matrix or the mirror hi Nicola thank you we are going there slowly but surely I love how much colour and variation in light and shadow you get on these smooth haired dogs. I think there's just a luster that you get to them that you don't always necessarily get in longer haired dogs. Thank you, Nicola. That's very kind. When did I miss Georgina? When did Georgina turn up? Oh, hi! <laughs> I'm missing everyone turning up. Oh, I found a bargain today. Um, now, I haven't been talking much on any of my socials, really, because of everything that's just been going on in the background. Um, but my Amelie has decided that she wants to be a hairdresser and my sister ages ago bought like these two model doll head things like they were 20 quid each they weren't cheap um but they were there for her to just do what she liked to them Needless to say, they soon became bald. One is completely bald because she wanted to have a go at using the um, hair clippers. So she literally hair clipped the entire head. So we have this really scary head staring at us. Great for Halloween. Sorry, I've just realised that's right next to the microphone. Um... Anyway, so somebody said, because I was like, I can't cope with her just cutting all her doll's hair now. Because we'd got her loads of cheap ones ages ago. But of course, because I don't want to be walking around charity shops and everything. Um, with everything that's going on. Because I love walking around charity shops. Um, I couldn't really go and look for wigs and things like that. And because somebody said, oh, you know, get some wigs. And I was going to get a load more cheap dolls. Just really like, you know, your 50p Barbies you get in the bargain bin. 
just so she can do whatever she likes to the hair and she likes to colour on them as well like customise them so she sits here with the posters and the acrylics and paints them um, and it's probably the one thing that's been fairly consistent anyway so we were in Asda the other day and we found these wigs for like four quid each and I was like I've got to grab them she can do what she likes to them then and I haven't got to worry um, so they lasted maybe three or four days I think something like that and I said to John as soon as they go in sale we're just gonna have to clear them out because you know when you look on eBay the wigs are like 20 odd quid just for one wig um, but we, we had to go down to B&M Home Bargains because I broke one of my box trying to get my dry blends in it. And lo and behold, they had Halloween wigs in there for £1.50. So I got her 15 of them. Um, so she's going to be a happy bunny to, you know, easily satisfied. As long as she does it, she's only allowed to do it in the sitting room or the kitchen. Um course if she does it upstairs she tends to cut other things as well and I end up with clothing and eyebrows missing well I am going to use the darkest now of the greys because in this particular area we don't want to be going black certainly not yet anyway and this is where I am going to start bringing in some fur detail because you can see it a little bit on here and it helps to soften the face as well that's solid so I'm not going to do any detail there is the most fur strokes I've done so far. Back to Napoleon's grey. get that nice divot in the top of the head think for blending purposes I'm going to come in with the cold grey blend over that whole area and I'm going to blend over this lighter area here sharpen sorry that's probably really loud right next to the microphone
talking of again, sorry. Oh, I just adore, absolutely adore being Blackbird. I really miss doing it as well. It's been so long, as I say, since I've done Blackbird in colour pencil. It's always ended up being graphite. I, I don't know if you guys get it when you ever get commissions, but whenever I get a commission of a black animal, or a white animal for that fact, I always get an apology. And they're always like, oh, I'm really, really sorry, but it's a black dog or a black cat. And I'm like, why are you sorry? Well, because it's black. And I'm like, they're never black. They're blue, they're purple, they're green, they're grey. They're so many things. They're never just black and they're never just white. They're one of the most interesting fur types, I think. Apart from maybe tortoise shell. It's one of my absolute favourites to draw. I'm actually going to bring in my luminance. So I'm not going to blend with the buff titanium. I hear you gasping, you old Patreons, you. I'm using the amazing new colour that come with the new kit. And it's actually green. So it has this amazing hue to it. This one is called, I always forget it, um, middle third degree. But it adds, I don't know, just adds this really lovely colour. Right, we definitely need to get some dark in here now because we've got to get some shape. I like doing dark fur than white, but I'm trying to get comfortable with Yeah, no, I get that. It's being able to read the colours as well. Because depending on the situation that the photo was taken in will depend on whether you are looking at a warm white, a cold white. It really, really does vary depending on your reference. I mean, in most cases, you're going to have both anyway, but as a general rule, like um, Jeff here, who is, as a general rule, if you were to look at him, you would say cold greys all the way through. So he's got like this nice blue tone to him. In fact, he has got it all the way through. He's got nice and light in the grey areas. And then you get some that have got that like hint of brown. I mean, we had two black cats, completely black cats, when I say that. They were tuxedo cats. Um, but whenever they laid in the sun, you could actually see. So I don't know whether maybe mum or dad was a tuxedo and mum or dad was then a, I want to say a tabby cat, but they're more stripy, aren't they? But he had like patches like you'd see on a jaguar. So if you saw a jaguar in the sun, you'd see all the, the actual patches of like the browns. So you'd see that when they laid in the sun. I really must get round to drawing my old cats. I can't believe I still haven't. That is not someone peeing in the corner, that is hubby pouring another glass of wine and emptying the bottle. 
Telling the bottle to be quiet is not going to help it be quiet. It's never happened. Oh, Tati, it's really itchy. I'm just looking at the what I've done so far through the computer monitor because it is easier to see sometimes. Because I can't get up and step away from it, I look through the monitor and that actually gives me a very similar view. There's still a bit of darkening to do down here. These need to be darkened, so I'm going to use the Payne's Grey to do that. I'm just going to glaze over the top. So let's just stop that one about there. And that can do with being a bit darker. I don't know. I, I think quite possibly not because me and Coffee Man quite often have this argument. Say, like, we drive past a car and he'll go, oh, that blue car's really nice or whatever. And I'm like, that's not really blue. It's got quite a lot of green in it. And then he'll be like, it's blue. I'll be like, it's, well, it's got a cusp of green or, whether, you know, whatever. We end up having this conversation and I do think, actually, I was warned this when I did my graphic design course. They said, as soon as you start doing graphic design, you're going to pick everything apart. And you do. You literally look at everything you read and look at and you pick it apart, whether it's a good or a bad piece of design. And I do the same with, <laughs> with colours. I will literally like, I don't know, we'll be being cute, have a look at the paint and go, oh, that's really like paint's grey or that's really like helio or, you know, amber or whatever. And I do think we see colours in a different way, which I think is possibly why we are artistic in that sense. It's like that whole thing that some people see in pictures and some people don't imagine pictures at all. I'm very much a picture person in my head. I can very much see what something is going to look like or what I would like it to look like at the end of it. And then you get others, others? others who just can't visualise something. And I do think that makes a massive difference. So, yeah, I, I don't think they do. Um, It's not a new job as such. It's a new opportunity and... I don't know when I am allowed to say anything because I think it's going to be a very long-winded process. So I don't think you're going to see, well, you're not going to see anything happen this year. It's going to be happening towards the end of 2021 and 22. So it's going to be a bit long-winded, but um, as and when things progress, I will then ask if I'm allowed to share the news because it is bloody exciting, let's be fair. Uh, oh, I don't even know if I'm allowed to drop any hints. It is a dream of mine that I have had for a very, very long time. And I kept putting my foot in the door and putting my foot in the door and it was only by serendipity, I think, that these circumstances have sort of all come around that it has led to the conversations I've had and what's potentially going to be happening so I have been practicing law of attraction and I know what you're going to think but I do believe that that has had something to do with it. I really do. I 
um, I'm going to work hopefully over the next few days. Madison finishes school early tomorrow. Um, so she's off an extra couple of days. So I do not know how Amelie is going to react to that when she has to go to school on Friday morning. Um, hopefully she's going to enjoy it because she gets to dress up. But uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, I pop the eye. That's the white section, that's the dark section. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to start getting all the Spectrum Noir tutorials. Um, I know they're no good for you guys, but actually it's up already. So if you want to have a go with your coloured pencils without doing anything intense, just to practice things like contrast and colours, there is on my website under the free downloads um, a new pack of 10 line artworks that you can either colour straight on or you can trace later on. It's entirely up to you. Um, but there are the images that I did line work for for um, the new products that Spectrum have had. So if you want to have a go at any of those, the link is in the description. But if you just go to benitadoodles.com um, and then under free downloads, it's the first download that you see. And if you just click on the zip icon, it will download them all. I just posted a reference photo in your group and Abigail thought I drew it. Oops. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm looking forward to seeing that one then. What's the law of attraction? It's the law. <laughs> oh, Rob, you do crack me up. Oh, my God. Love it. Um, law of attraction is... Um, please don't come at me. I'm a true believer in things like empaths and... Um, I don't know. I don't even know how you describe it. You know, I can literally hear the cogs whirring in my husband's head when something's going on and he doesn't want to talk. I can I can hear it and it makes my head hurt because I can just hear his brain whirring. It sounds really, really stupid. Um, and so the law of attraction is like what you throw out into the universe, the universe will give back to you. So if you throw out negativity, eventually, whether, you know, we see it or not they will get negativity thrown back at them um <laughs> oh dear jennifer um and so say for example i i've got like little mantras here that i haven't said in ages actually but i do still say things every now and then out loud um things like you know i I deserve to be happy and I deserve to have the job I want and I deserve to have this opportunity and I deserve to be able to provide for my family and I deserve that two grand that's coming I wish that two grand that's coming my way or um, you know like one of them is I have the power to build wealth that's one of them I am grateful for all I have and the money coming to me so you're putting out positivity into the universe for it to then come back to you. Some think people think it's hocus pocus. Um, what harm am I doing? Trying it? Absolutely nothing. Like I deserve to be paid for my skills and know-how. And it's all stuff like that. So that's what I've been doing. I am worthy of success and cash flow. Um, money flows freely to me and you are a money magnet. So these are all things that you can just say out loud. Um... And there's a lot of believers out there, actually. And I don't think... I'm not going to have this massive, deep and meaningful conversation because if you're not into that sort of thing, I don't want to push anybody out of a conversation that maybe doesn't believe. So, um, you know, I'll just say that the mind is an incredibly powerful thing. And I think if you're 
saying all these positive things, whether or not the universe is going to bring something positive back, at least you're switching your mindset to say, actually, I do deserve to be happy. Actually, I do deserve this job. And you're switching your mindset, which I think automatically makes you in a in you know, be in a happier place. I don't know. But yeah, there you go. My words of wisdom for a Wednesday evening. I just love the idea and thought of it. I have to say this this last probably two months has sort of proved to me that um, I am most definitely of empath abilities as such You'll see that once I start colouring over, especially with luminance, because luminance tends to lay down um, much creamier than polychromos, that when I come to glaze with my colours, I know that I don't need to press very heavily because it will just pick up the colours really nicely. So I can just gently glaze over the top. See, look how much fur stroke it looks like it's got there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Totally believe it works, Bonita. You won't necessarily get rich, but you have a choice in who you are choosing to be positive choosing to be happy as a positive oh, definitely i mean it can be really hard to get in that place and say those things i mean we've all been in the position where you know times have been really really tough and you just can't see the light at the end of the tunnel but then things just come around you know i've been dreaming of this opportunity i'm not kidding you for two and a half three years and i have been pushing my foot in the door for i all this time and other people have been trying for me too and, and it's never been seen and now all of a sudden you know I'm having a conversation and they're like you know oh I can't believe we've never had this conversation before and I'm like I'll let you into secret I've been trying for two and a half years and then they're going oh my god you know if I'd known about this all them years ago we'd be doing it all them years ago so yeah it's just timing it obviously wasn't meant to be then, it's meant to be now. I do believe actually that doing these portraits in all that time has managed to one, teach me more business skills, two, teach me more artistic skills, three, teach me learning to teach you. Um, so I've gained an awful lot of skills from doing this, so although it may not be in the direction that you are familiar with me being in, at the end of the day, I started as a graphic designer. You know, I am a graphic designer at heart. And this has always been a wonderful change for me and it's helped me get into the position I am now. So I am very grateful. So I am literally going to leave this half for when I come to do the eye. So I'll work on this bit, the eye, the ear, and then I'll work down. But I think for now I'm going to try and get, because this muzzle is quite dark, try and get us a little bit more down what have we got we've all oh, we've well gone over another half an hour right i think i am going to call it now because my back is screaming at me more cliche days at the end not too bad for two hours work i don't think my little pot here to keep all my colours I'm using so I'm going to put them all back in here to keep them together and then I can just slip them into the drawer for when I'm ready to carry on like so as I say there is a vlog coming out when no Friday hang on let me swap over so you can actually see who on earth you're talking to Let's, let's do that <laughs> so yeah there will be a vlog coming out friday which it doesn't explain a huge amount God, that light really does reflect um 
but you'll see the change in the office i can't remember if i have done a live feed with this background yet but you'll see um all about the change in the office it's quite a big change actually and we did get the bed um the sitting room decorated so that was nice you'll see that on the vlog i mention it um it is a bit of time lapse and talk over but it's me doing the office and other bits so it's, it's quite an interesting watch if you want to see two people tidy and paint and <laughs> um and yeah i am gonna try my hardest to get the other tutorials up but all i ask is that you please bear with me i can't discuss what is going on at the moment um but it's not an easy time so i'm doing my best i'm going to try and keep up with the live feeds at least if i can't get a video out at least then we, we've done a live feed because i do miss you guys and i miss the regularity of it all as well so um you know fingers crossed we can get back into a bit of a routine and i really really am missing making the videos and i didn't want to turn into an unboxing channel um which is sort of slowly happening because i get moaned at by my kiddo if i don't open the box so she can have the sweet so i get forced into doing that um but yeah it's uh, it's been tough thanks for doing him live on i can see oh that's really nice to hear donna and yeah he's He's a beautiful doggo, so thank you very, very much for trusting me to draw him for you. He's gorgeous. So, my lovelies, please stay safe. Have a good morning or afternoon, whichever it may be when you're watching this. Um, take care, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!